welcome to this episode of IDIS Technology Bytes. In this tutorial, we will review the configuration of the IDIS Direct IP Network Video Recorder Camera Tab. The Camera Tab is used when specific parameters of the Direct IP cameras need to be configured, including streaming settings. The General Tab shows the camera name, MAC address, and whether the camera is a covert or normal use camera. Clicking on the title line allows editing of the camera name. This name will appear in the Live View pane as well as in the Remote Viewing Application Camera pane. Covert mode allows camera views to be hidden from non-authorized users. Only users with the correct group privilege can view covert cameras and recordings. The Advanced Setup tab contains camera-specific configuration options including PTZ camera settings. Privacy masking allows the blacking out of camera regions to preserve public privacy. Presets, scans, patterns, and tours may be configured for the PTZ cameras. Once these positions and patterns are set up, they may be tested before implementation. A detailed tutorial on this subject is also available. The Video Configuration button contains settings that are normally stored in the camera. Direct IP simplifies this process that would normally require connecting to the camera via a web browser or an IP camera configuration utility. Advanced Camera Settings menu is where camera sensor, white balance, and exposure settings may be configured without the need for a dedicated camera configuration utility. The visual changes made will be seen immediately. Video stream configuration is an extremely important part of the NVR and camera configuration. These are configured automatically by the Direct IP NVR to provide a target of full HD quality video at 30 IPS, but the actual streams may be customized here. The Live 1 and Live 2 profiles are automatically set by the NVR and are used when viewing live video in either a large or reduced viewing pane. Only the quality and bitrate can be adjusted for these streams. The remote stream sets the format for video display on a mobile device. Recording video profiles may use the Live 1 or Live 2 settings or a custom profile can be configured. This is useful for multi-megapixel cameras. Please note that this section only configures the available profiles. The actual profile selection has to be configured in the Recording Schedule tab. The Audio tab is used to enable the audio input and output of cameras equipped with audio functionality. Note that in most cases, external microphones and speakers are required. Some IDIS cameras have built-in microphones already. Camera firmware is easily upgraded via the Direct IP NVR without the need to connect directly to the camera via web browser or an IP camera configuration utility. A USB memory stick containing the firmware file is all that is required. That's it! Thank you for watching and please see our other tutorials for more information on IDIS products. Thank <laughs> you.